Hey everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I will show you how you can migrate easily from Evernote to Apple Notes. Well, in fact, you can import all the PDFs into Apple Notes very easily using Apple shortcuts. So if you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen the tweet that I sent there showing you this in action with a GIF animation and then ask you guys to retweet or to DM if you're interested to get this. And I thought, why not make the video in order to show you guys exactly how to set this up yourself. Without further ado, let's dive into this. So first we open up shortcuts and here you see already the two things that I have here. For example, create note from file and there are two, just two simple things that I use here. First is get selected files in finder and the other one is create note with file in admin. Admin is just the folder that I defined in my Apple notes. So when I go to show more, it opens this when run. If you don't know how to use shortcuts all you need to go is here and type down get selected files in finder there we go and that's what you need so you will add this here and the next one is create a node okay so what i can now do i can use any file in here and run this now okay so for example even i have a hundred megabyte movie here all right the coaching that we have with one of our members and I want to send this to Apple Notes. I just run this shortcut now and it will open up the note. It already imported the video and now I have the full video inside Apple Notes. So this is not just for migrating PDFs that you might have exported from Evernote. You really can import any file very quickly. So let's go to the informations tab and there is show in share sheet. This is when you go to share. So if I share something, right? Now I can go here and I say shortcuts and I say create note from file. Obviously then I could also go to notes and directly make it this way and share the file this way with Apple Notes. But this is where the bulk actions comes into play. So if I select two video files, for example, and I click now, there is no share with Apple Notes anymore. So now I could go to shortcuts and create note from file and say done. And what it does now, it created one node with two different video Korea. files. Okay, so this is already the advantage, having the shortcut versus the normal sharing feature. But now I wasn't happy with this because with importing all the PDFs that I exported from Evernote, I wanted to have separate nodes, of course. I don't want to have all the PDFs in one node. That would be just a drag and drop of selecting all the PDFs and dragging it into a node. So instead I made another shortcut and I called it create multiple nodes from selected files. So let's see how this looks like. At first glance, it looks a bit more complicated, but it is actually not. So here, the difference is I have the same start, get selected files in Finder, and here the same, say get selected files in Finder. However, now we have a repeater here. So it says repeat with each item in file. So this means for each item I selected here in the Finder, it will repeat whatever is within this repeater, okay? And there you see already create node with repeat item. Okay, so that's what you can get, create node with, so in this case, create node with file. If I selected one file or several files, it will create one node, but here it will create with the repeat item. I can have different things that will be the repeat item. I could have the file path and all the others, but I want to have the actual file, okay? And therefore, and store this node in the admin folder. Okay, here I can select the folders, for example, Evernote for import or things like that. So. This means repeat item is any list of files that I selected, a repeat item is one file out of this list. If I go now to my finder and now I select these two videos and now I run this shortcut, you will see what happens. So you see it went through and now it repeats it, going through this once more and now it opens up. And now you see here, there are now two nodes with the individual files versus we had before one node with two files inside the node, okay? That's the first difference that we have here. Now I also appended the name of this file to the node and I added a hashtag scanned. So whenever I go here and I go to my hashtags, I can see scanned here when I click there, now I get all the scanned features. So that's why I automatically added this here using the shortcut and then it waits one second because what I realized, if you have really thousands of files, it gives me an error, 
after a while. So don't worry about this, you just have to restart with the remaining files. That's something I wasn't able to solve because even with this one second delay, it wasn't working that the, I had thousands of PDFs that I wanted to import into my Apple notes. However, just be aware when there is an error, check what was the last imported note, go back, select the remaining notes and restart your shortcut. That's how I overcame this error. Maybe with a new update of shortcuts, it will solve this problem later on, but it is the state for the video. I had this issue still ongoing. And then why do I have a set variable here? So this set variable is just used so we can append the name, the file name to the node. So without doing this, I haven't found another way to add the name. And that's why we have this here. So just to repeat things, we first have the action get selected files in Finder. Then we set a repeater. So again, you just go here, say repeat, and then repeat with each or repeat in general. So we have repeat with each item. Okay, and then we set a variable. So we, we pick the name of this file and set the file name variable to the actual file name. Then we create a node inside Apple Notes with this repeat item, which is the file, in the folder admin, show more, open when run. So when we click this, after it runs, it opens up Apple Notes. But as we re keep repeating this, we don't want to keep opening up Apple Notes all the time. Then we append the name to the node. So this means it adds the name in front of the node and Apple Notes automatically recognizes the first line of a node as a title of the node. And that's why we see when we go here, now the names Rear Coaching and Dan Coaching, whereas before it was just called New Node, but now that the name is appending, it adds the file here and the first line is recognized by Apple Notes to be the title. So that's why we see this here. So you see when I give it another line and I change this, you see it picks this now as a title. So that's what appending means. And then we add the scanned tag, which adds just the scanned to the very bottom. So we could go more fancy and add more stuff here. But for my use case, this was more than enough because once the PDF files are in here, Apple Notes does a great job with OCR and I can find now all the information I need inside Apple Notes and I finally can leave Evernote because Evernote, the only reason I was using it was for my scanned documents and now I will keep using Apple Notes for this purpose. All right, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But there's even something better. So if you're interested in Apple Notes and you just migrated from Evernote to Apple Notes, we get a comprehensive deep dive showing you all the features, how to set it up, how to take the most out of this tool. And there's also the upcoming digital note-taking course where there will be a dedicated section about Apple Notes as well. So if you want to learn more, the link is in the description below. Check it out, join the Paperless Movement membership and I meet you inside the community.